The New York State computer-based testing offers a secure web browser, which basically means that students can access the internet, but they can't access its full potential. They're very limited on where they go. Uh, we've also been able to provide this in our region to both the Maine Enwell and Windsor districts for Schoology. So this means from a Chromebook, students can enter what's called the lockdown or kiosk mode for Schoology. That will, in effect, uh, lock the students into the Schoology environment. Uh, we'll take a look at what that is, how to get there, and what it looks like in just a second. But keep in mind that students will not be able to navigate outside of the Schoology platform. Uh, so that means if you're going to have them follow any links, those links have to be embedded within your Schoology page or else uh, the student won't be able to go there. They physically can't get outside of Schoology. So again, this is available to both districts in Windsor and Maine Enwell, and let's take a look at how to get to it. So the kiosk mode is accessed from the login screen of the Chromebook. This means that students should not be logged into the Chromebook. It's when they first turn it on. So if the student's already signed in, have them click on the bottom right hand corner and say sign out. You should see any of the student IDs that already exist on the screen and a shutdown option, apps, and browse as a guest in the lower left hand corner. That middle one, apps, is the one that you want to have the students click on. And from there, you'll either see Windsor CSD Schoology or Main Enwell CSD Schoology. Click on that option for, Win for your Schoology kiosk mode. It will launch into a different browser window that looks like this. First thing you'll notice is it's having us log into Schoology, not to the Chromebook itself. The other thing you'll see is the yellow bar across the top indicating that it's different. It's a yellow color to, to draw your attention as a teacher to know they're in the right space. From here, just have the student log into Schoology as they normally would with their username, not the full email, and their network password. Give me just one second and I'll do that now. So we can see, once the student logs in, they are in Schoology. All of their courses will still be there, all of their groups will still be there, but if you notice across the top URL bar up here, again, that's yellow, there's no close minimize or maximize in the top right hand corner. There's no ability to add new tabs. There's no ability to go to a different address. I can't click up here and go anywhere else. The only option I have is to refresh the page or restart the session in the upper left hand corner. Uh, again, your students are locked into Schoology. So this is great for if you need a secure browser for assessments. Um, we can also use this if uh, students have a difficult time going to places they're not supposed to go. This really locks them into Schoology. The important part is, how do I get out of this? Well, there's a few different ways. If you restart the session, that will just take you back to the login screen. It doesn't get the Chromebook back to where it needs to go. To get back to the traditional login screen, you can do two things. One is to restart the Chromebook by holding down the power button and restarting it. Don't worry, it's completely fine for the Chromebook to do that. The other option is a combination of key key shortcuts, you want control, shift, and L for leave. So either powering it off or pressing control, shift, and L simultaneously will bring your Chromebook back to the regular login screen that you're used to. So there you go. So there you have it, the secure browser or kiosk mode for Schoology. Again, that's available to both districts. If you have any questions about that, please feel free to reach out to me by email. Otherwise, thanks for watching.